Uh, hi, so welcome back. Uh, we'll continue our discussion from when we left off. So uh, we have just seen, we just seen um, some of the scripting files. Oops, I run it by accident. Yeah, but we have just seen some of the scripting files. Yeah, what clean case zero does, and then what some of these uh, applications actually do. I mean, we can guess from the names. The restore zero directory, and then it runs the block mesh application, and it runs the potential form application. Now, in the original, original, original files. Okay. So see this cylinder. So this was the the original one. Another original file. I kind of modified the all run file previously. So we take a look at. Uh, yeah, we take a look at the, f the files and then we see this uh, same lines being given in the run file and restores the zero directory. It does a block mesh and then it does this thing run application, get application with function objects, write file, write p. What is this? This is actually a potential form, running potential form. Why does it say get application? This thing I'm highlighting. Well, if you, if you look at uh, the control dictionary, you look at this application, it means potential form. It says potential form. So when it says run application, it's going to look in the control dictionary or some other file. It's going to look for the application entry. And this application entry is potential form. Uh, not really... It does the same thing, so it runs block mesh, it restores the zero, runs block mesh, uh, and it's going to run a potential form. So we can fiddle around. You see if that, you see if we actually, um, you know, mess around with the files a bit. Uh, nothing, nothing too much will happen. It will just kind of do the same thing. Alright, so let's take a look at the log dot potential form. So it's going to make new time mesh and everything. So there's a lot of things it's doing there. Okay, so what are these uh, things doing? Uh, we can pick up some of the clues in the system directory, and we find the control dictionary, for example. Uh, okay, so if you look at the control dictionary, uh, there's this thing called functions. Okay, so this is just uh, basically comparing to the analytical solution. If you look in the in the open form guide, so how is this being run? Well, we look at the all run uh, all run files. It says uh, run application. And it says get application, and it says with function objects, write phi, write p. So these are the three, you know, options we tell potential form to do. But well, just to prove a, uh, make a point, uh, I, will, I will replace this uh, get application with a potential form, and then we see whether it just produces the same results. All right. So all the all run is done. So I'm going to run all clean again. So we see. Uh, all of these files are put out. Okay, so now it's going to clean the case. Alright. Oopsie. Yeah, it's going to clean the case. Let me find my Ubuntu window. Yep. It's going to clean the case. And then we're going to change the all run from this get application. Potential form. So I'm gonna uh, save and quit, and we're gonna write. We're gonna do the all run and see what happens. So it's gonna restore zero from zero original. And it's gonna run block mesh. Okay. So once block mesh is done, it should run potential form as normal. 
So you see, it's going to run potential form on this folder. This is uh, this is the original one. I I didn't change the. I didn't change anything much, so just wait for it to run a while. So it's going to run the post processing and yeah, that's all. So you can see that it's. Uh, so let's take a look at the potential form dot log. So it's uh, it's basically doing all the same things. It's going to generate an initial velocity field, pressure field, and yeah, it's taking about forty six seconds. Now uh, there are another there are a few other things that I have done in the other uh, potential form folder to kind of simplify things because there are some things we probably don't need for our snappy hex mesh pipe flow case so I'm gonna VI all run so we, we see this thing uh, called post processing uh, probably we don't want to do that all we want is just an initial velocity field right and then I'm gonna get rid of this thing called with function objects. Because what is this function objects doing? It's going to look at the system, control dictionary, and then it's gonna look at this thing functions over here. Now if we don't need to run this function, it's well and good. Uh, we can just comment this whole thing away, or we delete the with functions. Okay. So let's go to all run. I'm going to delete this with function objects. All right. And just leave it to write phi and write p. So, well clean. I'm going to do all run. So it's going to run do the same things, uh, run the block mesh so it's going to run potential form and stop and take a look at the potential form now so it's going to generate the initial field but there's no extra function to run. So the clock time is very short. Execution time 0.11 seconds. So normally potential form runs very quickly in this case. So I mean the other way is uh, well we can do the with function objects. Yep. And what we do is just to make a point that it's really running this file, we can do comments. So I'm going to comment everything here out using the forward slash and asterisk. So that, that kind of signals the beginning of I want to comment everything from here on, like a close uh, open bracket. Then I'm going to write a close bracket here to delete delete no or rather comment everything here so I don't really need all of this or even better I'll just delete right so I'm just gonna delete all of this away so I'm just gonna press D all the way and that's just going to delete all of this away hold down the D button and quit okay so again I'm gonna do all clean and all run
Okay. So again, give it some time to do what it needs to do. And yeah, you take a look at the log potential uh, potential form. So it's going to give us exactly the same results. So whether I, I run it with the function objects or not, as long as I delete out the functions in the control dict, it's not going to do very much. Okay. So, and for our intents and purposes, this with function objects is pretty redundant. And what, uh, what write phi does is just to write in the velocity potential. Again, we don't need this. What we probably need is the, all we need is the right p. Right p means that it gives us an initial pressure field in the zero directory. Okay, so this is all we need to do. Run application potential form dash right p. Okay, QA. So I'm just going to remove that whole folder. You can just copy, copy it anytime from the tutorial folder. Yep, remove and go to cylinder potential form and look at my all run file now. So what it does is yeah, pretty much what I, I, I wrote uh, except that yeah, I, I started to run it in uh, the background. I mean either way is fine. And uh, with function objects is what I explained earlier but you don't really need it. So now uh, Let's see what we if we can take what we have learned from this uh, files and then go and put it into our all run folder. So I'm going to take a look at the snappy pipe potential form. Let's take a look at the all clean. Right, it says clean case in this case. It just says clean case, right? So I want to, uh, before I do the clean case 0, I want to copy this over. 0 into the 0 dot original, right? So it gives us a 0 dot original file to restore from. So that if I do the all clean, yeah, we can just restore this from there the original directory using the restore zero directory command so instead of clean case I'll do clean case zero we have seen what it does already and let's look at the run folder or the mesh generation folder so mesh generation folder it just runs the all clean file and then it does the block mesh into block mesh.log, snappy x mesh into snappy x mesh.log, topo set, create patch, and all this. I mean, the more elegant way, the more elegant way is something we have already discussed. We use the run functions. So I'm just going to take this over, and then I'll go into the uh, mesh generation file, and I'm going to paste it here. Alright, so this is the, the run function code, doesn't matter the color is not, not the same. So, so instead of doing this, we can do run application, block mesh. So that will already log it down. And this one you say run application, snappy x mesh, same thing, it will log it down for us. Then run application topo set and then run application create patch overwrite and of course we have the touch snappy pipe dot form as usual and one more thing we want to do restore zero directory okay so this is what we're going to do, let's run an all clean and a mesh generation. So it's going to clean the case up, 
And now as expected, we, we don't have a uh, we don't have uh, anything, so we just can run this mesh generation in the background. All right, okay, so looks like something is wrong. Let's go check it out. Oh, yes, I forgot to change this to run functions. So capital R. No, this should be making it correct. So I'll do this. So it's gonna write. See, it's going to uh, do all the commands, and it's gonna tell us where it is. Uh, where it is uh, at right now. Of course, we can type the enter, and that will bring us back to the command line and then we can type new commands for this thing to follow okay so now it's on the snappy x mesh right and this file is more ready to run potential foam than it was because now we are ready to accommodate the overriding uh accommodate um you know the way potential foam likes to override the u and the velocity and pressure uh, initial fields okay so next video we're going to check out how we can uh, start running potential foam without all the extra functions and everything we just want it to generate uh, initial pressure and initial velocity fields nothing more than that right so we'll just wait for this thing to run finish and uh, i'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.